Yes, biblical hermeneutics, I understand, to be simply both the science and the art of biblical interpretation. And by science, I mean that biblical hermeneutics gives you principles by which to understand the Bible in its ancient context. So science, we, by science we mean you learn Greek, you learn Hebrew, which is the language of the Old Testament, or the language of uh, the Old Testament is Hebrew, Aramaic, the, the language of, of the Old Testament as well, and then Greek, the language of the New Testament. But you also learn archeology, span and you learn how to read the genres, like how to read narrative, how to read poetry, how to read, um, the epistles, how to read apocalyptic literature like in Revelation. So we call that the science of biblical interpretation where you're learning some, some things, some principles that help you to understand both the grammar and the history of the text in order to understand the intent of the biblical authors. But that is not all there is to with respect to biblical hermeneutics. You also have a, an artistic side, which is the application side, whereby the biblical author or rather the biblical interpreter works hard to understand how to apply the text responsibly in a 21st century social setting. Because there's a massive historical divide between the ancient author of the biblical text and the modern day reader. So the modern day reader must work extremely hard to figure out what the ancient text is saying, but what m must also work hard to seek to understand how to apply the biblical text to the modern day situation. So one example could be this. So how does a text like Galatians apply to the 21st century? Well, the, before I can answer that question responsibly, I've got to get into the world of Galatians and figure out what was Paul's intent. And it seems to me when I read Galatians that Paul wrote his letter to dissuade a group of Christians in Galatia not to turn away from his gospel. He is urging them to obey his gospel because there were some opponents who were teaching the Galatians they had to get circumcised and keep the law of Moses to be part of the people of God. So Paul urges them not to do that because his gospel focuses not on the law of Moses, but it focuses on exclusive faith in Jesus Christ who bring salvation to Jews and Gentiles who believe. Well, how does that apply to the 21st century? Because in most of our churches, the problem isn't the law of Moses or circumcision. And so I think it would apply in a variety of ways. I think one way is we can say that anything we try to add to our faith that we think makes us right with God is a departure away from the gospel of Jesus Christ. Anything that, we, anything that we say contributes to justification by faith, apart from faith in Jesus, is a departure from the gospel that Paul preached. If that's our political identity, our racial identity, our good works, anything that we bring to the table and thereby say, individuals must do those things to be part of the people of God, that is not what the gospel of Jesus Christ says. And so that's an example of biblical hermeneutics. We're working hard to understand Paul's first century context, and then we're working hard to figure out how do I speak this message into the 21st century, into the context in which I find myself today.